Hey guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, wherever you are. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for being here. So today I wanted to do a video about how expensive it really is to travel to Hawaii and to be in Hawaii over Christmas and over New Year's. We'll get into that as well. Um, so either you're curious about how expensive it is to be in Hawaii over the holidays and to get there and get back, or you're actually planning a trip. And if you are, good for you. Uh, my wife and I went a year ago and just before the holidays and it is so relaxing. It's an amazing place to be. Great vacation, great weather. Um, it is going to be a lot more expensive. So if you're wondering about that, that's what this video is for, to detail how much more expensive it will be. And you could be paying two, maybe three times as much for flights, hotels, rental cars, and other things. And that we'll get into. Not to mention there will be a lot more people there during the holidays because everybody's out of school, everybody's got vacation, and so you have a lot of people going. I hope this video is useful to you. If it is, go ahead and subscribe. I've got some other Hawaii videos I've done as well. Cruising, costs of visiting Hawaii during the regular uh, season, uh, things like that. Uh, so let's get into it. Okay, here we are. So this is going to be a brief video. I'm going to show you, as you see the tabs here in the bottom left of my spreadsheet, some prices uh, of some data I've collected on flights, hotels, rental cars, and uh, one cruise. And they all show the same trend about price increases uh, over the holidays. So let's start here with flights. I picked three semi-random uh, cities to give some variety and to be able to observe if the trend was just based on one city or not. And it's clearly not based on one city. Um, and out to Honolulu, so from Salt Lake, Los Angeles, and Seattle. And then down here at the bottom, uh, the return trip a little bit later in, in the holiday. So as you can see up here at the top, we've got flying to Honolulu with these three graphs from uh, the prices from the 10th of December to the 25th, and then flying out uh, of Honolulu back to Salt Lake, LA, and Seattle from the 25th to the 1st of January. You can see the trends, they're very clear. Um, prices around 200 bucks uh, here from Salt Lake. I, I won't go into every single city here, but you see that right about the 18th or 19th, prices start to go up uh, of December. And that's a one to $400 jump, depending on where you're coming from. So you, you, really, you, can, um, you can triple the cost of your flight if you're flying out right before Christmas. Same trend coming back. And this one almost quadruples here, uh, the Salt Lake one, almost 800 bucks if you leave right after New Year's or right around New Year's, you know, when most people would expect to come back. So what this says to me, most people are getting out of school, getting vacation from work for Christmas through about the New Year. So they're leaving it to Hawaii right before Christmas and coming back right after the new year. So there's a higher demand, which means things are going to be more expensive. So that data is pretty clear. Let's look at hotels now. And here I, I chose three random uh, hotels on different islands to try to get a, a view of the trends as well. So the Marriott Kauai Beach Club, that's on the island of Kauai. The Days in Maui, Oceanfront on Maui, and then the Holiday Inn Express Waikiki, which is Waikiki Beach, if you're not familiar with that. Um, pretty famous beach on Honolulu. So one thing that stood out right away from these is that, first of all, I got all this data on November 11th. And uh, right away you can see there's already some unavailability. 
This is based on uh, Google Hotels, by the way, and the previous tab was based on Google Flights. But you can already see there's some unavailability here. So one tip I have, book early if you are planning on going to Hawaii during that week of between Christmas and, and New Year. But here we can see these trends again. Prices go up. There's no data for the dates that are unavailable, but I'm sure they just trend along the similar pattern here. They go up um, one, two, almost 300 bucks for that one. Same thing here per night. That's the price per night. And this one about 400 bucks. Um, I, I can understand that being Waikiki. So same trend um, that week of Christmas through New Year's. Let's take a look at rental cars now. Oh, one other note before we go there. Uh, I made a note so I wouldn't forget this so I could tell you. Don't forget that uh, Hawaii has a 10%, I think it's 10.25% uh, as of this summer accommodation tax. So you're going to be adding that onto your hotel. So if you're paying 200 bucks for a hotel, there's a $20 a tax per night. Um, and also you'll probably have parking fees if you're at a resort. So just something to keep in mind. You, those, you don't want those expenses to sneak up on you. Um, I do have a video that details um, when is the best time to book a flight. And there's a segment in there that talks about Hawaii. We look at an article from uh, cheapair.com. They have an entire article dedicated to flying to Hawaii. So I just wanted to uh, give a plug in there if you're interested to go check that video out. I'll put it at the end of the video uh, as well so you can click on it if you're interested in more information about flights. All right, now let's move on to rental cars. Okay. Okay, so uh, here, again, I, I like to have a good sample size. So I just picked three uh, random rental cars on the different islands. Enterprise uh, at Honolulu Airport. I got a variety of cars as well with a compact SUV. I just picked that one and selected different dates uh, from the Enterprise website. Uh, you know, those are my sources there. And, um, and it read back what it, it referenced the price as. Same thing uh, for Alamo, rent a car on Maui, on the Maui airports, and budget at the Kona airport. That's, if you don't know where Kona is, that's on the big island of Hawaii, or Hawaii Island. And I selected a minivan there. Again, this minivan is not available for about two weeks around Christmas. So, same thing, if you want to book things for that time of year, you're going to want to do it early to make sure you can, you can get it. Um, the trends are also apparent in these graphs. Enterprise Honolulu, I mean, you can get it, get it per day, 30 bucks, you know, plus taxes. And then you can go up to 160 bucks. So that's, man, five times as much five times as much for a rental car with with enterprise at least and honolulu you know that's probably going to be one of the more expensive areas it, it for sure is it's one of the most popular tourist landing spots so we do see similar growth on maui it goes up from uh, about 23 to a little over 100 that's about a four times increase uh, that is, that blows my mind. I mean, if you're going to rent a car for the entire week, you're looking at, you know, 500, 600 bucks compared to 100 to 150 during other times of the year. And then again, uh, on Kona, the big island, that's Hawaii Island, a minivan, it's already booked from the 18th to the 31st, but there was one data point on the 1st of January when it, it was available, and we see that it's 152. So uh, about a four times increase there as well. I'm sure that in here it's, it's around that price, maybe more, um, maybe less, somewhere around there as well. So that's for rental cars. And then lastly, there's a cruise. That goes around Hawaii. I've got a couple videos on that if you're interested. 
this Norwegian seven day cruise. And that uh, bops by four of the islands. On the 5th, it's 1699 that week. And then the, the week of the 12th, it's 1399. And here we see 1949 and 2099 for the week of Christmas and the week right before New Year's and ending on New Year's. So same trends across the board. I also wouldn't be surprised if regular commerce was more expensive. Like I said, my wife and I went uh, about the 15th of December last year. So we kind of beat this price bulge, I feel like, but don't be surprised if you go shopping or eating out and things are a little more expensive during, during the holidays as well. Okay, that's it. I um, hope this video was useful to you. If you liked it, I would appreciate if you choose to subscribe. If not, that's totally cool, but I would love your support. Um, I would also love to hear from you in the comments about your Hawaii experiences or plans and what you might have to share to the world. So I hope to see you soon and uh, take care. Bye. Thank you.